Hanoi is holding on to its past while the winds of change define its future. Higher living standards are creating more traffic, more bustle. But despite the modernisation that is taking place, Hanoi is keeping a balance between the old and the new. Hanoi is, and always will be, Vietnam's cultural heart. Hanoi would have to be one of the most traveller-friendly cities in Indochina. It's been able to maintain a rich Vietnamese cultural expression that you can feel on the streets every day. That's the hotel where I'm staying. It's a fabulous hotel of a 17th century French colonial design, not far away from the Huan Kim Lake and only a short distance from the city's old quarter. Let's take a look around and I'll show you why the city has so much appeal. a veranda with a view and the passing parade along the avenue. Hanoi people are coming to grips with a changing world. Before, the woman uh, couldn't, couldn't wear it with feet like that, fitting uh, feet dressed like that. So, because maybe they, they feel so shy. But what about yourself? Do you like the change that's taking place? Yes, of course, because I am a new... <laughs> Yeah. yeah. The, the new generation is... New uh, generation. Yeah. Yeah. And, but, and feel confident. It's a confidence that's impacting all over Hanoi, from street vendors to art shops. As the cultural centre of Vietnam, Hanoi is the showcase for art forms of various descriptions. Now, take for example this masterful work that's been sewn together with cotton threads and depicts colourfully a harvest in a rural area. Now, how much is this? I think it's $20. $20? Yes. Is that all? That's really good value. I think so. Very yes. good. You can do a lot in a day. Exploring the streets of the old quarter is a good place to start. If you want to observe Vietnamese culture on a street level, well, this is the place to be. The old quarter of Hanoi. Here the terraced houses, five storeys high and more, are over 100 years old. Huan Kim Lake is where the locals like to gather, especially on a sunny day. A serene lake that's filled with history, where willow trees stretch out into calm waters. The Sunrise Bridge dates back to the 15th century. It links a temple complex with the thinking of Confucius and the beliefs of Buddhism and Taoism. The past boldly extends into present day Hanoi, which isn't surprising as it was only a decade ago that Vietnam opened its doors to the world at large. This infamous prison, located in the heart of the city, dubbed the Hanoi Hilton by American prisoners of war, has been partly restored and fronts the Hanoi Towers luxury apartments. There are several statues that add to the city's character, but this bronze effigy stands out from the rest. While communism has been in decline in Europe for a decade or more, this statue of Lenin stands with pride in Hanoi. If history isn't your holiday bag, there are other attractions. I think there's nothing nicer than jumping into a, or jumping onto a cyclo and, uh, and riding around the, the town, uh, the little boulevard, or the boulevards, the small trade streets. It's all tree-lined, it's got a, uh, with a down these colonial facades, having a look at, uh, at you've got the vendors, you've got the, the, the shop houses. It's uh, a lot to offer. 
five years ago, sick loads were the most common form of transportation around the central areas of Hanoi. But today, unfortunately for many people, the sick lows are in decline and pedal power has a restricted driving zone. But as far as I'm concerned, this is the only way to travel. It's fun, it's cheap, and these guys really know where they're going. Come on, let's go. Above all else, Hanoi is a people city. Look at these tree-lined streets. There's little shops and restaurants where you can just eat, drink, relax. It's my sort of city. Hanoi has its own charm, a down-to-earth appeal. On the streets is where simple living can be most enjoyable. In Hanoi, you live for the moment, the day, never for tomorrow. There is no rush. For most people in this city, change can wait a little longer. 